Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and you are watching BC Adventure. Today we're going to be looking at updating our Meshtastic device, my Heltec V3. Um, my last Meshtastic video did fairly well on the channel, so I thought uh, why not do an upgrade to the latest firmware and go over the new features that are included in the latest development. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use Microsoft Edge here because I'm on my Mac and uh, the web flasher does not support Safari uh, or Firefox for some reason, at least to my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, we're going to update the uh, Meshtastic Heltec V3 device here. And uh, you can see I got my new antenna on it. Uh, it actually does really well. I've, I've been bringing this device with me everywhere, uh, like in the car and on walks and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna update this like I've said probably six thousand times now, and uh, we'll see what that looks like, and we'll go over the new features that are added, uh, as well as something that's been removed from the latest firmware. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so to get started, we first need to get our device ready. And to do that, we just need to plug it into the USB port and connect it to our computer. And uh, of course, make sure it's on. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, it doesn't seem like the old firmware is working with the network anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I just, I can't figure it out. Or maybe it's not that it's not working. I think maybe I'm just not using the right, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, uh, my area used to use long fast. Now I believe it's long slow or long medium or something like that. But nonetheless, there's some new modes and features that I do want to uh, utilize or try out, which is why I'm upgrading this. So we've got our device plugged in here and I'm just going to select the target device, which is a Heltec V3. Uh, I'm going to go with the default latest firmware and click flash. And it's going to ask me if I want to full erase and install, which I am going to do. And uh, it's going to ask which device. Let's see. Well, there we go. Uh, yep. Yeah. So selecting this guy here, USB to UART, connect, and erase and flat. Oh, it's asking again. <laughs> okay, connect. All right, there we go. It's doing its thing. I don't know about you guys, but I like to do a fresh install, which is why I selected full erase and install. So we'll see, uh, yeah, doing its thing. Okay, actually goes pretty quick. Now, if you're wondering, I've had this device since August, 2025. And um, if you saw my first Meshtastic video, I was genuinely blown away how uh, I could even get it to work with the um, uh, stock stubby antenna inside of my garage, which is essentially a Faraday cage. If I did not have a, uh, a Wi-Fi access point in here, I would have absolutely no Wi-Fi in this part of my house. So I am, uh, I, I was genuinely blown away and um, like giddy over the fact that it was working inside of my garage. But you know, that's the beauty of the 900 megahertz network. I remember when I was a teenager, I accidentally took my home phone in my backpack and where I went to high school, I had almost line of sight to my house and the thing still worked. And that was like a good two, three kilometers away from my house. So, um, yeah, it, it was pretty neat. But while this is doing its thing, let's go over some of the new features. So some of the new features are the end of legacy non-private direct messages. So in this release, Meshtastic removes support for the old style direct messages that were unencrypted or not using public key infrastructure. So from now on, direct messages can only be sent received using the new PKI system, improving security and privacy. 
uh, telemetry is now disabled by default. So device telemetry broadcast status info shared automatically with the mesh are turned off by default. And this is to pre prevent flooding the network with unnecessary data, uh, which causes a high utilization. Uh, okay, so, all right, so this is done, it looks like, but we're gonna keep going through the, the changes here. Uh, GPS logging cleanup. So improvements were made on how GPS toggle logs are handled internally, cleaning up log messages. Uh, compass calibration fix. So it looks like calibration behavior was fixed so that when you recalibrate the compass, previous calibration data resets correctly to zero, preventing potential corrupted calibration data. Um, to, there are community reports that some devices drain battery faster with 2.7.15. in this is just hearsay right now. It says it requires further testing and might be hardware specific. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the, the summary of the changes are for secure messaging, telemetry, uh, GPS and compass. Now there's, uh, uh, something that was removed was the repeater role was removed. Uh, the traditional repeater role that nodes could have, uh, that nodes could have has been deprecated, removed in the 2.7 series. Uh, this effectively changes what modes nodes can operate in when relaying messages. Uh, looks like there is uh, UI modes, interfaces expanded, base UI versus MUI. Uh, starting with the Meshtastic 2.7 preview, which the 2.7.15 release is built on, the project introduced two major interface modes for devices with screens. So there's Base UI and then Meshtastic UI. Uh, base UI is a new modern unified interface designed for more devices and easier control without needing a phone UI. And then the Meshtastic UI is the previous default interface. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, so I was going through the uh, the modes here. Uh, so there's client, client mute, client base, uh, and client base is a specialized client that prioritizes rebroadcasts from your favorite nodes. Uh, good for stationary base node that helps your other devices. Uh, router and repeater. And then it looks like there's uh, router late still and uh, router client has been removed. Now that pretty much sums up the uh, update here. So, oh, there's a new message on the screen. Welcome to Meshtastic. Click to navigate and long press to select or open a menu. Okay, so now um, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. Um, so now there's a, uh, like a menu feature on the new firmware. So here I can actually set uh, my area right on the device. And there's a ton of, there's a ton of new countries added. Okay, so I'm gonna select US and it is now rebooting. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, yeah, it's rebooting. The boot screen is still the same. However, the main screen is different. Uh, this is, uh, it has a channel utilization on the main screen. Uh, oh, it has a, a messages menu. Uh, let's see, uh, GPS menu. And uh, the role menu. I don't know uh, what this, uh, system menu. And a time menu where it just displays a clock. Okay, so that's interesting. So yeah, this interface uh, has significantly updated, which I am... Uh, pretty excited about here. Let me just, um, what I'll do is I'll, uh, um, I'll overlay uh, a video while I was talking through that and um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you what, what all is there because that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, well, has the app changed? Let's have a look at that. I don't believe so, but yeah, we'll go ahead and connect to the app, see if anything's changed in there. All right, it's not liking that. Okay, so it doesn't want to connect to my phone right now. I probably need to do a restart and, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to uh, remove it. Oh, even the shutdown has a new send node info. You know, I'll just go back. Um, I need to remove it from my Bluetooth. That's what I need to do. Forget this device and then open back up Meshtastic. There we go. Now it's connecting.
Okay. Now I will need to set it to, uh, what is it? Um, actually, I don't know. I, I forget. Um, what is it? Long, slow? Yeah, set that. Okay, well, yeah, this is, uh, it's pretty neat. I will, um, uh, I will let you know if uh, I notice anything different. Um, however, I, I don't think so. I think it's, uh, uh, just got an improved UI right now and uh, but yeah it's super easy to get updated here uh, you know nice and easy as long as you use Chrome uh, or sorry Edge and uh, yeah so end the video here uh, I'll do an update if there's anything different or significant that I noticed over uh, uh, some time but other than that uh, thank you for watching uh, thank you for supporting the channel with your likes and subscribes and I will catch you in the next one